this is uh, Silvia Pavoni, economics editor of the Bank, reporting from Felaban in uh, Lima, Peru. I'm talking to Kristen Schisler, who is the director of Banco de Chile. Um, Kristen, you told me that uh, the bank has just closed its uh, first from Mimbi settlement transaction, which is really exciting. Can you tell me a bit more about it? Just a few weeks ago, we settled the first transaction, and uh, there are more in the pipeline. Uh, you know that the activity of uh, Chilean firms with China is very intense. Uh, a very important part of our trade is with China, and they are very interested in settling their, their uh, businesses in Remimbis. It's a lower cost for them to do in Seoul, and uh, I hope it's going to become a very important uh, source of business for the bank and for their clients. So this is an area that's really is growing really fast for, for Latin American banks. And the Feldman last year, the way it talks, specific talks during the events about Remembi settlements, we're going to have another presentation about China and its uh, economic impact influence on, uh, on Latin America. But you were saying that uh, Chile actually has an experience in, um, beside from statistical terms, um, any uh, significant uh, effects of the Chinese slowdown. Do you think this, is, this may happen in the future? So far we haven't felt the slowdown. Uh, as you were saying, we have some statistical reference that there is a slowdown, but uh, on, on the practical life you don't feel it. But for next year we're thinking that our uh, GMP growth is going to slow down a little bit from 5.5% this year to probably 4.8% next year. But still we, th we, we feel that it's a very good rate of growth for the situation the whole world is living these days. So uh, we are we are we are positive on our prospects for 2013. And what kinds of uh, deals, investments, or trade deals is the bank seeing in terms of uh, uh, relationship between Latin America and China? What kind of sectors? What kind of companies are? Well, we're seeing a great interest from uh, from the Chinese firms in investing in energy, in desalinization plants, in airports. Uh, in uh, uh, food-related activities of agriculture and vegetables also. They, they want to have a, um, a very strong uh, assurances that they're going to be have a, a, a source of flows of uh, very controlled uh, food uh, supply. Uh, they're very interested in Chile because they think they, in our country there is a very much uh, health control of food. And uh, we think it's true. So it's a new line of business too. And are you seeing many Chinese uh, or anywhere Asian uh, lenders in uh, Felaban? Are you having many meetings in this respect? Well, we, we visited them in Asia just uh, a few weeks ago. So we, we have visited them all. <laughs> so we're concentrating now in, more in our Europeans and our uh, American uh, partners. And what kind of deals are coming out of uh, Europe and, uh, uh, and North America at the moment? Well, we have a very strong support from our European banks in terms of uh, uh, great lines for trade and for working capital purposes, and from our American uh, uh, partners also. Uh, we have seen the bank grow in about 10% this year, and uh, of course we need of, uh, more support from them, and, and we have found it, so we're very happy about it. Very good. Thank you so much for your comments. Thank you.